Hello and welcome to another episode of Measurement in a Minute. I'm your host, Justin Kozak, Technical Sales Specialist with Lakeside Process Controls. And in today's video, we're going to continue our discussion on Rosemount's Differential Pressure Level Transmitters, specifically Rosemount's 3051 SAL Level Transmitter. Now, in the last episode, we discussed the traditional use of wet and dry legs. Today's video, we're going to discuss how we implement a seal system to replace wet and dry legs and some of the many benefits of choosing a seal system. So if we take a look at a common setup, we may find something similar to what we have pictured in this diagram. We have a DP level transmitter that's mounted to the bottom of the vessel, and then we have some sort of tubing that's connecting the low side of the transmitter to the head pressure in this vessel. Now it's important to understand that when we have a wet or a dry leg, this tubing is what is directly exposing the DP transmitter to the process conditions. So it's important that when we select our transmitter that it is going to be able to handle the process from a compatibility standpoint. Now with the seal system, the big difference is going to be, you know, as the name would imply, that this tubing is sealed off from the process itself. And think of this setup as something similar to a wet leg except it's sealed off, there's a cap on it. And the other difference is that instead of this tubing being filled with product from the vessel, it's going to be filled with what we call a fill fluid. And the fill fluid is going to be some sort of silicone based fluid. Typically, this is going to be filled at the factory and it's going to be selected based off the pressures or temperatures in your vessel itself. Now in the seal system, we no longer call this tubing tubing. We now call it a capillary. The other part of the seal system that's important to talk about is going to be the seal itself. Now it's going to come in a range of shapes and sizes based on your application, but this is what's going to be exposed to the process. Think of it really as the mediator between the process and the DP transmitter. It has in, in the center of it, you can see it pictured here, a diaphragm, which has the ability to flex based off the pressures that it's exposed to. Now the entire capillary and seal system is filled with the fill fluid and vacuumed so that way any changes in pressure that are experienced on this diagram, a diaphragm rather, are going to directly relate back to that DP transmitter in a timely fashion. The big advantage here is the fact that we don't have to be concerned with maintenance on wet and dry legs, we don't have to be worried about the transmitter plugging, and we also have more flexibility in terms of temperatures, pressures, and material compatibilities. And that's why we utilize a seal system over wet and dry legs. Should you have any questions about our DP level transmitters, please reach out to us at www.lakesidecontrols.com. Thanks for joining.